Maikes. Nice to have you here for this eighth edition of the Street Art Fest Grenoble Alp. It's your first time here. So maybe you can introduce yourself and then present. Yeah. So, um, yeah, my name is Case. Um, I'm painting. And, um, yeah, uh, people say it's street art, so I assume I'm a street artist. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what I'm doing, like, for all my life now. And where are you from? I'm from Germany, from Frankfurt. I'm come here um, to Grenoble by car with my wife. Yep. And um, on the back of your T-shirt, we can see a, a pretty long list of country where you've been. So yeah. how old are you and how long have you been touring the world to paint? I'm, um, I'm born in 79. I'm uh, 43 years old. Yeah. Um, I'm, doing, I'm doing this since the 90s. I started doing graffiti back in 1994 when I was a young kid and um, yeah I started then and start traveling around 2000 1999 2000 with first to Spain and then first exploring Europe Europe and then more and more it turns off turns over the world like traveling the world for what you love to do painting Excellent. So, and you're known for your, I'll say, unique style of hyper-realistic pieces. You got a really strong technique. I believe at the beginning it was only done with spray paint. Yeah. In the beginning it was like graffiti base, only spray paint. Everything else was not good. Only, only spray paint was the best. And then, so it's 100% spray paint. And then, because I learned house painter when I was more young, um, and I had a lot of to do with like mixing and painting colors. And so I did more and more added this to the wall because the wall went more and more bigger. So only doing a big wall with spray paint, with spray paint only, that that's not the perfect tool for that. So this the mixture came while the, wor the wall's getting more big. So for example, on this wall, yeah. Uh, first of all, what did you, what's the size of this wall for you? Like like small one? No, outrage. it's like it's a huge wall. I done bigger, but I done also smaller. It's like it's like it's more of the bigger one. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And I like the wall. It's like it's very smooth. It's very easy in the way of how the structure is, like a smooth wall. And then you have like all the um, the yeah. different panels that guides you how it's like a permanent grid, yeah. and that helps a lot like proceeding fast yeah and so uh, on this wall did you use any spray paint or it's for one of the person that create yeah i use spray paints like let's say 15 percent 20 percent of it it's spray paint around the faces the hands you can see it if you are in an angle you can see the shiny parts they're all spray paint the rest is um, more or less like roller paint or i use a spray spray paint gun yeah. the airless and that proceeded more fast than yeah. for the preparation. Yeah. Cool. So um, let us know about this wall. How does it came and what's the story behind? So yeah, what we have here is like, um, the wall name is like Teen Spirit, like because we have three teenagers. It's uh, Amadou, it's Elian and it's Emilion. And these are kids from here, from uh, Grenoble. And um, yeah, the idea is because it's a gymnasium and focus on like ball sports and this area section is like basketball area, I have to say, or you can tell. And so I we kept the t topic of basketball and the way how it's arranged. So it's like a free person. So it's free teenagers and it turns out mostly it's a free by free versus free place that happened here i saw this while working which is interesting because there was just a coincidence but yeah three teenagers and they are connected and they covering their eyes each other most of them like amadou they don't but it's about like the connection you have in the game and um, yeah the blind trust you need to have as a team to succeed or to have victory or to act actually yeah you communicate through the body 
more or less. And this is like this blind trusting, this guiding, this leading, and um, yeah, like every the, con the link between each other. It needs to be this part to be a team, yes. to be a successful yeah. team. And this is all about but in general, this piece is like open for everybody to interpret. It's just my thoughts on that piece. Yeah, it's important to have yeah. your thoughts and uh, obviously exactly. people are just passing through and wow. And exactly. Then you got the, the immediate feelings of what's what's the part of these things resonate in yours as an individual yeah and um so how was the to organize a shooting you ask us to yeah to create this yeah moment so usually it's like i because you guys needed that or it it was an uh, um like a sketch or like a concept up front needed so I, I went this way usually i'm not doing like this i'm just go into the situation into the area and then the, the idea comes and it's like a field study kind of type of thing um so you you check out the problems or issues or whatever you have up front and then you create out of the situation the piece so yeah. it's it's not gonna fly here which is fine so but there also i didn't have time to arrange it in germany um i just give you guys a, a sketch with the uh, with the question or with the request having the having the shooting here and um, that was um, that was possible so you guys set it up and um, so we shoot on the basketball court the the free the, the free boys yeah okay and it was it was um, it was amazing like, yeah. yeah it was um, it was like this situation for me always is super exciting because like it's just this one small situation you need to f make this find this shot and um yeah it's uh, it's always a little bit hectic but it it works like um we, we, you guys get to get uh, put the guys here um we arrange everything uh it went it went well the kids the the teens they went um they were into it completely which is also important the parents they weren't sure what happened which i understand because it's in a public space and it's a big wall and everybody is seeing it and then the pressure is on me that maybe it should be it should be good and if not then the parents will hate me and <laughs> you know it's like this all this comes into it but i've and The risk is on the parents because it's a new experience for them, for them yeah. and um, yeah, it's this weak point. But I hope they like it. And I met uh, Emilion's father. He, uh, the family, the mothers, they are all happy. The brothers happy. Um, Amadou, he came by two times. He's happy. He told me that he get recognized only by this piece. People, uh, his friends called him, told him, "Hey, they, they paint you. You know that?" And he, of course, <laughs> I know it. Yeah, so um, cool. I think everything is more or less a positive, even though in the beginning there was some uncertainness, which I, again, I, yeah. I understand that. But yeah, yeah that's an important a... part of your piece, you know. Uh, thanks you, thank you a lot for thanks, man. asking us to, to work with kids from here, local kids, you know. It's yeah. The connection with the, with the people living in the area or using this field is really important. That makes a lot of a lot of it yeah and uh and obviously on the background you 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 deal with this natural background it's your first time in grenoble my first time in grenoble yeah um not first time at the alps but in in grenoble area um it's the first time yeah absolutely i love it it's a uh, mountains surrounded it's interesting to see actually what what's catching me is if i see like the houses in front of where which are big in front of the way more bigger um uh, mountains and this is for me it was interesting like we went all the way down the street and then you have those um i don't know like this I don't know, it's like it's not skyscraper but like more yeah, family big houses, buildings, big yeah. buildings. Condo. And seeing them in front of like this massive mountain wall makes them so yeah, tiny yeah, even though they are so big. That's just an interesting contrast. That's yeah. that that really cut caught, caught that's me. That's the eye of the artist talking. Yeah, it's just <laughs> like it's just you you see things and then 
this one thing pops out for some reason. You guys see it every day, you don't realize it. But for me, that was like, mm, that's interesting. It's like a wall behind the wall, like an even bigger natural wall behind the not natural wall. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. interesting. But that's totally true what you're saying. Just uh, yeah, we living with the mountains and nature just right there, you know, and we forget about it. Because yeah. Global is a kind of pre-urban city you know because it's surrounded by mountain everything is concentrated so yeah 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 it's you a, can feel that it's a nice it's a nice it's a pretty nice city and um, Stendhal which is one of the famous French writers said that at the end of each street there is a mountain yeah, yeah. but now that the end of each street there is a, a mirror ah, thanks perfect. to you guys so <laughs> it's good yeah yeah <laughs> so and your your painting help with your with your wife also exactly so uh, yeah yeah i travel with my wife a lot um most of the time like barely i'm i was recently in lyon by myself alone but it's the more it become more and more unusual i started traveling by my own and i met samira and we get married and um, slowly but surely like sh she became part of of me and i became part of her of course that's why we married but yeah that that's that's what i do and it's it grows in this direction and looking back i have to say it's like it's it's a good team because we travel so many places until now that you have a connection like it's like this quantum physics <laughs> in german we call it verschränkung i don't know the word in in english but it's like it's the connection Osmosis. even if you are far away from each other you uh. think what the other say and you say what the other think it's okay. an out of like the regular thing and it's it became throughout traveling a lot. But that's, it, it's nice, and I want to spot that because she's painting, she's helping you. Exactly. Yeah. Areas. I don't know what's the level of, <laughs> of, yeah, of painting like, she's got, but uh, more and more uh, this year we had a uh, Slim Safon from Spain. Yeah. He came with his wife or girlfriend. I came painting. with his wife. I didn't know that. Cosdos. Yeah. Martin came with uh, Nikita. Yeah. Painting. We got Suero and Nikita also. They are couples and they're painters together. Mm -hmm. And we, we saw more and more artists coming oh, we, like yeah. that, you know? Like I know, I know. I, I realize this too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting nice, you know? It's uh, <laughs> it's getting an interesting direction in this, like, short uh, short structure. Like, even, like, Bo came with his, uh, with his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, and, true. um, yeah, it's like, it's... It's a. F I wouldn't say it's a thing. I think more and more like we also get old, and of course we have private life and less private life while traveling. So you grab your private life with, with you in your basket <laughs> or wherever, and then you go with it. And um, it's it's interesting yeah. this this development. Yeah. Tr truly, we can see I with the festival that, year after year, we can see more and more, more artists more coming. Couples come yeah, yeah, right? like yeah. like more and more artists are just. Dropping the spray uh, spray paint and asking for for, for gun machine or yes yeah spray um, how do you say uh, um, uh, it's a paint gun paint gun it. yeah or saying quite machine brutal, gun is not yeah, for the world <laughs> the paint machine yeah, could be, paint yeah. gun paint machine and uh, so more and more acrylic painter only yeah and uh, yeah. less and less just one hundred percent spray can so that's also good for the environment and the planet so things are changing quite, quite a yeah, it's fast also, I will say it's also good for the logistic I think it's more easier to have uh, acrylic or arranged than you cannot yeah. have spray paint everywhere in the world mm -hmm. but still there's graffiti is still up which is I think it's also important even like maybe that's a negative topic more or less but I think having graffiti and having illegal graffiti still going for me I think it's a source of like dynamic. Um, you need to have like this, this engine in in it, sort of. Yeah, it's, it's all I just, Yeah. Okay. So, where are you up to next? And what's the next? Yeah, like we're heading back to Frankfurt in tomorrow. Um, I have a show in uh, in September, beginning of September in Denmark. I have a few other project in Frankfurt the next bigger traveling is Sao Paulo and that's the more bigger one in Brazil and um, Belgium is a little something in the next coming weeks okay and so other than this yeah it's like I have to summer will be busy yeah I have to <laughs> f 
be hang on my uh, solo exhibition. I so you yeah, and, and like yeah. most of the artists, you also got a studio works and yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's uh, acrylic uh, also. You turn oil painter. I would take everything like acrylic oil, spray paint all together, um, chalk, everything. What's what's where yeah. color oil. comes yeah. left or uh, comes sticks on the on the surface. I use yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, and, and most of the artists now are just get both also. Exactly. So yeah. yeah, it's getting more and more mature. I mean, it still is. It still is like it's in. It's everywhere. Um, so contemporary academy is they pick it up. Um, I know Valencia is a big university in Spain. They using the Maclean book for um, a reference uh, um, a lecture, and I heard that. And um, yeah, like it's street art graffiti the taking over academics, which is makes sense because also because we're getting older, um, artists from probably craft backgrounds they have or street art background, they become professors in academics. And of course, they're teaching what they learn. And I think that's when I say it's getting more sure. It's like um, it, in the society now you cannot you cannot delete it anymore um mm -hmm. it's such an easy or not easy it's such an um um nice thing to uh, it's such a nice uh communication tool for the public and also for like galleries and you can reach so many people with it um with just a simple paint on a wall and then you can have so many connection communication in between i mean those those guys never met before now they are connected when they see uh, themselves we're gonna we're gonna met the parents today in the evening you know it's like all these little things yeah it makes a lot it's it's nice i i love this kind of details yeah. and this is for this i'm actually do it do yeah, it. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. That's why street art is growing that fast, and it's institutionalizing itself. It's so really fast, also, and 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 also because all the artists are doing or making the demonstration that they can change or evolve from a block letters or whatever white style graffiti, then turn like a you know pre-academic techniques you know like all the center and best from Etam crew yeah. uh sebas yeah. velasco all this uh like slim uh yeah. spanish more impressionist pre-academic techniques you know that hang, ends up on the walls that's i mean the creativity and the evolution you say you're old you know, yeah. you're, old, you're getting old. You're 43. I'm 53, and uh, and I saw the, the generation of uh, art coming through. Mm. I was 12 in 92, 93, so that was just when it when it reached Europe, and uh, so you're still pretty young, you know, in an artistic career. You paint or professionally for 20 years, maybe something oh, like that. Yeah, uh, yeah 25, 22, 25 yeah. years. So, but you still got. Uh, 25 or 30 years to go at least that's what i wish <laughs> sure I, mean, I, I won't stop that's so, for sure so uh, let's say you're not even a third or mid career not even so um, we're pretty surprised to see where it goes yeah but uh, the the entire world is needing this you know that's 50 years that we are eating contemporary conceptual art mm -hmm. And now people need this, you know, they need figurative, really ready to understand things, not need to read three pages of paper to understand why, why this or that, you yeah, know. Yeah. But then you adding things. I don't know if we can say that we will cut it if we can't. No. Um, one of the kids got a disease. Exactly. I, I was thinking about I forget this to say when when we did when we done the, the photo shooting. Elian he got the, I, f I think it's a heart disease or something but I I don't want to go too far yeah. but um he got a disease. So he's a, he's he I think he don't have it very easy. It's because of his health situation and um 
so but we wanted to have like diverse uh, teens in that and um, when I met him um, we replaced the, the group and um, you could feel that he, he had issues to stand and but he really wanted to be part of it so he really put everything like it's all like it's all his power he got ob ob over his body um tried to to be try to stand and like try to be um that that part of the piece and he made it really good and you could also feel it he's in he, he is in pain but still he wants to be it and you could see from his expression and he is he, he fighting he's for trying it. he's yeah. fighting for it and and i adore this like you know it's like and that's that's great and that's the the, the let's say the the it's not the end of the story but it's it's a make the circle loop you know to itself round, yeah 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 of course you, you present diversity there's different kids but um and uh it's talk to everybody it's street art is we we talk about that education popular popular education you know yeah it's having those pieces available 24 hours a day yeah you know it's it's free it's mm. easy to to see you don't need to enter in a museum you need to pay a ticket to 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 see those pieces yeah it's proper art there's no way we can say oh, this is something yeah less understand or whatever this fit in a museum perfectly and the story is telling us that already you know so yeah. you're making the job you know and uh, i'm really happy that uh, that the aids edition of the festival mm. we create more or less 300 pieces a little bit more than 300 pieces wow. in this area already and uh and man it's, it's making the job you know so thanks to you that you because what you present it's it's uh, it's us it's the people and it's also something that it's super important that all the artists are the same and as people don't understand is that as soon as you arrive you want to see or as soon as you say yes to the world you want to see the area you're doing some research about what's going on here so you're really involved and uh, committed into doing something for the people who are living there yeah and people don't really know that you know but it, most of the time the pieces that they are here mm. in in any way but i'm sure if you go to sao paulo you're not you're going to do something related to this location to this place yeah so that's that's why it's that attractive and that it worked that nicely with everybody is that even if you don't know shit about the, pin, the mural mm -hmm. you get the feeling with the colors with the line of the mountain that even if you don't realize that they are the same your body is telling you that yeah. your body language your eyes knows that this is familiar so it feels good you know to to have this so yeah you realize it i mean i mean pictures right i i study restoration after before i went crazy with uh, i mean while i study restoration i went crazy with, with painting and traveling but restoration means like restore like um like a house restore like churches and like focus on like wall paintings that was the special uh, specialty and in the history lessons during the studio uh, during the university time they say always like in the medieval time always they use the image for educate the people or like to tell them the story of the bible yeah. and tell them whatever so pieces and pictures always had an impact on the viewer no matter when which time it was always like this and it still is and that's also something interesting and philosophic because it's just it's a few paint it's like Base tones, blue, yellow, red. So, and you mix over a hundred years so many different colors in so many different pieces that speaks more or less to the audience and it educate the people, like you said, especially in, in public spaces. And it has an impact even more when it's big or when it's more over oversized humans, over human sized. And um, I think, yeah. Um, it's this part is also important in it and even when we come when artists come into a new place they see things different than the people are in that space yeah, yeah. and they reflect that 
differently that the people might lose you 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 lost few if you stay more longer in a place and then they are the artists remind them and then they maybe see it again and then they make their own different interpretation and then get delighted or not or angry or no matter what they start communication mm -hmm. communicate even if they are don't like it they yeah. they are have a connection yeah, to it you know recreate and this, this is, interaction exactly with people. and then they start thinking and looking up don't looking down mm -hmm. anymore so this is all of this and this is simple just by putting paint on the wall mm. that's true but yeah. it works and it works well over ages yeah definitely yeah it's come from a uh, moralism in mexico and, exactly uh, for instance and, uh, yeah so in 1917 and then all those experience that uh, yeah churches were decorated and why just to 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 speak and to talk to the people who can barely read or exactly or <laughs> to impress write, them you know. also with also, the size also, and everything also, also size matter but uh, today the street art it's I don't believe that there is this this uh, envy or this, uh, this 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 goal to impress the people. It's more like to I would say more provide something that makes you looking up, you know. Mm. And that's that's nice. I never thought about that, but if it, you're right, when you look up just by doing that, mm. it's a hope. Yeah. movement you know <laughs> just by doing that you create good vibe in your body i'm sure so it, yeah it's totally totally right. it gives it gives a lot back yeah, yeah i mean it's hectic and it's rush and it's always stress and it's decision making as an artist do i this line or should i fill this color or what but all this is worth it completely with um the reaction and um what's the feedback pretty much mm -hmm. uh, um not really saying sure. a painting yeah. for the feedback, but it's just like it's it comes along with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. So, man, thanks. Yeah. Thanks again for this talk and this mural and uh, for accepting to to being here. We are pretty proud to have you here. So, Jerome, thank you so much for inviting thanks. us and um, keep up the the good work. It's definitely worth it. Thank you very much. But uh, yeah, everything's belongs from you guys, the artists. So, thanks, guys. <laughs>